Uh, so a lot of people believe um, that that it's going to be much more labor intensive and it's actually more it's, difficult it's to do. Non bot like true veganics is been it's not a new thing. It's been around for hundreds of years. It's pretty much growing plants with plants, mm -hmm. you know, and rec replicating what happens naturally in nature. You know, if you look in the forest, you don't see rotting animal carcasses everywhere. You know, an animal may die and decompose, but mo you mostly see leaf litter and insects decomposing and um, grasses and, um, you know, this and a, a, a mycelium network that's under, that's connecting and bringing nutrients and water through all the redwood trees. It's like, that's what you see in nature. And so with veganics is like what we've been working on is how can we replicate that in the, in the, in our garden? You mm. know, how can we create soils that are full of life that are, you know, not, are full of life, but don't also don't use animal byproducts. So no, no blood meal, bone meal, feather meal, no fish. Um, you know, where, what, what, how can we create, you know, u utilize, you know, things like alfalfa, kelp, um, compost, uh, from you know, green manures, um, cover cropping, and beneficial that's not bacteria. more difficult to get a hold of those materials? It's actually easier. You know, where, like alfalfa, for example, I can buy a 40-pound, 50-pound bag for 20 bucks. You know, mm -hmm. and it's, it's high in nitrogen, has all types of tri trace elements, has um, triketin on it, which, you know, which you, you, buy, you buy, pay a fortune in, in a bottled product. You know, kelp. You know, it's it, making your own, you know, kelp alfalfa teas. Like, instead of going and buying a liquid extract, mm -hmm. you know, where you're paying for a premium, you're paying for the manufacturing costs, you're paying for man, uh, transportation, and not only is your is it more expensive, but it's not obviously not as environmentally friendly. And this is doable on a large scale. Well, you obviously do a I mean, lot I, of cultivation. I, we're sites, we're yeah. operating twenty thousand square feet of vegan organic production mm. in greenhouse. Huh. And that's utilizing. We two years ago, I made four hundred yards of soil from scratch. There was no vegan or vegan veganic soil blend out there, so I I blended my own soil. They sourced all the inputs hmm. and. You know, now I'm at, we're we're in a no-till method where we're just top dressing. We're we're doing uh, amendments every run, cover cropping. You know, weekly teas. Wow. And I mean, I can, can show you some of the product. I mean, it rival you know, our light depth looks like indoor. 